So I've got a 2013 Safira here. If you can see, when I start it up, we've got a service vehicle soon message on the dash. So most people think this is the service light. This is not, this is just another little engine management fault indicator. Wait for it to pop up. There we go, you can see it there, just flagged up there. So what we're gonna do is put the diagnostic tool on and see what we've got. So you can see there, I've just got the Fink, uh, Fink car, Euro Max tool plugged in, and that's going through, and I've done a full global scan. They're scanning every module on the car, so we've got a couple of reds there. So we've got some faults there we'll have a look at. I've had a quick look at the other faults, like the radio and body control module, just stuff like parking sensors, nothing really that's going to bring this fault on. So just going to go engine control module, see what we've got that's bringing that service vehicle soon light on, and we've got similar one glow plug circuit. Okay. So. So I've just removed the engine cover and we can see there, just in the background, we've got a cylinder one glow plug. So that's what we're going to look at next. So a little simple test I'm going to do is to work out what number cylinder one is. That might sound stupid, but on some French cars and other manufacturers, they'll swap the order. So cylinder one would be four and cylinder four would be one, vice versa. So what I'm going to do is just unplug the glow plug plug there that I think cylinder one is. And I've cleared all the faults in the memory. I'm just going to activate the glow plugs on my scan tool to see if number one pops up saying that open circuit or malfunction on the circuit. So you can see there I've got glow plug activation and I'm going to press on. There we go, so we see there it's on. Leave that for a few seconds and then off. And then I'm going to return back to the fault codes and see what we've got. Reach fault codes. Similar one glow plug. So yep, there we go, I've determined that is similar one and that's the one I'm going to change. So as you can see they've got a new glow plug fitted in there and just a 12mm socket got it out and a new one fitted with the rec to the rec uh, manufacturer's recommended torque settings as well. So plug back on and I'm just going to do another little test just to confirm that's fixed the fault. So with the new glow plug fitted in there uh, I'm going to do another activation test now. Then we're going to go to glow plugs. There we go, I'm going to go on. Right, leave it for a second or so, then off. And we'll do the same test before. Now we're going to go back to the uh, see if there's any codes in there. And if there isn't, we now fix the fault. Just simple, easy test on this. There we go, no, no codes. So this sort of glow plug I pulled out there is what they call a pressure glow plug. There's no real way to test it like efficiently anyway. I uh, have never really tried to scope it, there's not that much room in there. Um, you can't also uh, do an ohms check like you can on a no, uh, new glow plug. So it's got two functions this. Uh, as a normal glow plug would, heat cylinder, cold starts etc. and during uh, DPF regenerations and stuff like that. But also it's got uh, like a piezoelectric sensor in there that measures the, uh, the gas, gas pressures in the chamber during combustion. So genuine only part normally, so it's a genuine Vauxhall part. And yeah, fits in nice and easy. I haven't got a program it or nothing, so nice sort of straightforward job. If you follow them little tips of just diagnosing the right cylinder and just how to make sure it's fixed the problem, you know it's going to fix the problem. But there we go. Thanks for watching.